back to Charmin's Kitchen. I want to say good night one, good night all. Hope everybody had a wonderful, wonderful day. Today was beautiful outside. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I want to welcome you to my channel. I want to say a big happy Easter Sunday to each and every one of you. If you're watching from Guyana, I want to say I hope that you fly a kite today. And for all those who are not living in Guyana, I hope you had a wonderful weekend with your family. Today, my Easter dinner is um, oven cook red snapper. So I want, if you guys come on down, I will show you guys how we prepare that oven cook red snapper. So for tonight's dinner, here I have my beautiful fresh red snapper. And I already washed them and... I'm going to show you how I'm preparing these and here I have some of my ingredients. I have some fresh cilantro which goes very very nice with fish. I have some thyme, some garlic, marimari pepper and ginger. So all my seasoning goes in a blender and I'm going to blend these up to make a nice green seasoning and that's what I'm going to add to the fish along with some other dry seasoning. So I have my seasoning here, all blended up for the fish, and I roughly blend it with a little bit of um, texture because I want it to be nice and flavorful that I'm not, um, I wouldn't lose it when I add it to the fish, I wanna see it. So I'm gonna add some salt, I'm gonna add some black pepper, I'm gonna add some paprika for color and some flavor. And I'm gonna add some adobo powder. And you have to be mindful with the adobo powder because it's a little bit on the salty side. So make sure you put the um, a good amount that it won't be too salty. So I'm gonna mix this up now. And this is what I'm gonna season the fish with. So now before I season the fish, what I like to do, I like to score the fish a little. And you wanna use a sharp knife when you're doing this so the seasoning can go into the fish. So I'm gonna do that on both sides. And this is gonna um, give us nice, room to put in our seasoning in here and then i'm gonna do both sides and i'll continue to do all the other ones so now i'm gonna start seasoning the fish and we want to make sure that we get it all over in these little scores so we're gonna massage these fish nicely on both sides and in the inside too so it's going to cook with flavor in and out and then same thing with the other side this beautiful beautiful um ingredients gonna go all over so the head and everything is on and we want to season the head as well so i'm gonna put this one on the side and I'm gonna continue to do the rest just as I did with that one. So I'm gonna be cooking the fish on a bed of some carrots. I have here some red onions and green onions. So I'll put everything into this bowl. And then what I wanna do now, I'm gonna just add a little bit of seasoning on this. So I'm gonna add a pinch of black pepper add some adobo seasoning all-purpose seasoning because this have um, onions garlic ice flavor and then I just want to mix this in a little and this is what we're gonna cook the fish on I'm gonna show you so here I have the um, ingredients I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon a tablespoon of coconut oil and just so that these ingredients are not dry 
and I'm gonna mix the flavor in. You can add any vegetable of your choice. And then now I will lay this down in the baking dish before I put the fish on. So I'm gonna so I have my baking dish here and what I wanna do now, I'm gonna put down some of the beautiful seasoned vegetables and I have five fish. So I have to make sure that I keep for all my, the other ones. So now I'm gonna take the fish and I'm putting it like this and that's how I'm gonna be cooking the fish on the bed of these um, beautiful ingredients. So I'm gonna do another one here. So now I'm gonna do the same here and I will put another fish on this one and I'll continue to do that. I'm gonna cook it in a high heat oven about 475. I'm waiting for the oven to get to the right temperature and then I'm gonna put these babies in uncovered. So here I have them nicely seasoned on the bed of vegetable and um, onions and green onion. So what I like to do at this point, I like to open the inside and I'm gonna put in piece of onion and these are cilantro um, head. So that have a nice like limey kind of um, flavor that will really, really be good for the inside and all this onions and vegetables that I'm putting in here when the fish is done cooking. You can eat those as well. So I'm going to do that for all of the fish. So they're cooking with flavor from inside and outside. And it's going to be so delicious when it's done. So continue the process. Cilantro head and the onions. And these are ready to go into the oven now. So for side dish, I'm gonna be doing some asparagus. And in here I have about a teaspoon of butter. And I'm gonna add my asparagus to that. I'm gonna be grating a fresh clove of garlic into here. And we will cook these just a little. We're cooking it to still have its texture. So I'm gonna be adding some Instead of salt, I'll be adding some adobo seasoning, just a little sprinkle because this has salt, garlic, onion flavor and all that. We just want to flavor up the asparagus. And then I'm going to flip them around and cook them until they have a nice glossy sheen on them. And that's when I will take them out. So I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of water to this. And this is gonna help it to cook a little bit faster without getting burned. Once the water is evaporated, this is gonna be ready and done for me to take out. So here it is, my asparagus is nicely cooked. Still have its crunch and change to a nice glossy color. That's when I like to take it out. So I'm gonna turn my stove and take this out. And I'm gonna start preparing my other side dish. So here it is, beautifully done. And side dish number two now. So in the same pan, with a teaspoon of butter, I'm gonna add some green beans because this is our side dish number two. And I'm gonna do the same process, but I'm gonna show what I'm doing. So I'm gonna grate one clove of garlic. And with the butter and the garlic, add a really nice flavor to your sauteed vegetables and the next thing I'm gonna add a little bit of adobo in here as well all purpose seasoning and then we will flip these 
and let them cook until they have a nice glossy green. I'm gonna be adding about a four tablespoon of water and then that should be good enough to cook these beans until they're nice and crunchy and ready to for our dinner. I add about four tablespoons of water. I let the water to cook out and now I'm gonna take these off because they're done and we still have a crunch on them. So here is my Easter dinner. I have all the fish nicely cooked and I already stirred them out in plates. And on the side here is a little bit of the vegetable that we cooked the fish on. I made here some asparagus, a side dish. We have some fried green plantain. I made some sorrel drink. And in here I have some melted butter, cilantro, a little bit of salt and some lime juice to go on the fish. And we have some green beans here sauteed in butter just as the asparagus. And this is what our Easter dinner is like. Delicious oven cooked red snapper and some veggies to go with that. I'm going to dig in and let you guys know how all this tastes. So let me dig in right now and let you guys know. So here I have it all, and this is our Easter dinner. I'm gonna put some of our cilantro, melted butter, lime juice, and our little pinch of salt, and this will really add another flavor to the fish. So I wanna say happy belated birthday to my sister who celebrated her birthday on March 31st. I wanna say happy anniversary to my sister and her husband who's celebrating their 22nd wedding anniversary yesterday and i want to say to my brother-in-law happy birthday today on easter sunday and i want to say to all you guys happy easter sunday to each and every one of you and now i'm gonna taste and let you guys know so i want to show how the fish is how nicely it's done and i'm just gonna take a piece from right here and show Ooh. So it's really hot right now. It's nice and moist inside and it have a nice texture on the outside. So it's really, really done perfectly. I'm drooling. So let me taste and let you guys know how this tastes. Cheers guys, this is your mouthful. Mm. So delicious. The flavor from the cilantro and all that other seasoning is just coming through very, very nicely seasoned. The inside is so moist and the outside have like a nice crust. So delicious. So this is the bed of vegetable that we cook the fish on right here. And I'm going to taste that. So full of flavor and so like it's melting in your mouth i'm gonna add some lime to mine and i'm gonna go in for some of the vegetable so the asparagus first and that's your bite too mm. so crunchy and so full with flavor just the perfect side for this fish dish Cheers guys. And of course my husband made some nice fried plantain and I can't eat my dish without having some of the plantain. So I wanna say to you guys, stay blessed, stay safe. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please press that subscribe button. You only have to subscribe to one video. Until then, I wanna say, Stay blessed, stay safe. I wish you guys can taste this amazing goodness that I have here. It's so, so delicious and so flavorful. So I'm going to take another bite. Mm. 
Wanna say to you guys, bye for now.